show you an app for managing, annotating, and viewing PDF um, files on your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch called PDF Expert. When you open the app, you see a nice display of the front page of each PDF file. You can drag and drop into folders. And you can even make folders within folders, which is great um, for organization. You can search for PDFs by file name and contents. And once you open them, you get a lot of cool options. So, if you highlight some text, you can look it up in the diction look up a word in the dictionary, highlight it. Underline and strike out. If you want to make a note in the PDF document, you can touch anywhere and touch, um, choose note and then you can add your note. Then you can even drag it around. to any place on the screen on the or on the PDF you also have other options like adding text and once you add text you can change the font size and the colors you can also add a signature which you um, draw on the screen a stamp, which is an image or a watermark to the PDF. And what's really cool is you can add sound. So you can record your voice at any point, any position in the PDF, and play it back to yourself. Um, so that could be a note or anything. It also has a recent view where you can see the recently viewed files and see where in which folder they're in. You have some network settings and in um, a settings tab where you can create a passcode lock, Wi-Fi drive, search contents, and some other options. The, the app does not include text-to-speech for PDF files, even if they were created on the computer like this one. So even if I can highlight the text, I can't use the built-in speak selection feature to have the text read aloud. Also, there's not a text-to-speech option in the built-in to the app. What I can do for PDFs built on the computer if I need them spoken back to me but, uh, read aloud I mean is I can go to actions and send by email oh sorry um, text reflow this takes all the formatting and the images out of the, out of the document and presents you with only the text once you're in this view you can highlight anything you'd like and then use the built-in speak selection feature to have the text read back to you using text-to-speech. Also in this text reflow mode you can change the size of the font and easily go from page to page. In the action bar you can go to page, send by email, save a copy, print, or open in. To get a document into PDF Expert, you simply use the open in feature from an app such as Mail or um, Safari and you open it up in PDF Expert. Also, here I have a document that was not made on the computer but was rather scanned into a computer 
into the computer. So, unfortunately, this app doesn't have OCR capabilities, which means that it can't extract the text to make it readable or searchable. Um, it would be nice if that was a feature of this app, and it would really make it a killer app. But the, unfortunately, that's not one of the features. In all, PDF Expert is great an at annotating and managing PDFs on your iPhone. It also has an iPad version, but unfortunately, it's not a universal app, which means you'll have to buy the app two, dif two different times if you want to use it for both your iPhone and your iPad. That was a re review of PDF Expert on the iPhone. Thanks for watching.